Alrighty boys, we're back with another tier list. Oh man, oh man. Best Cavalry in Bannerlord. We just did Best Archers. A lot of controversy. A lot of people, you know, want to love Crossbowmen. It's cool, man. It's alright to be wrong. I'm just kidding, you know what I mean? You guys did correct me about the range. I appreciate it. I messed up. What I meant to say was the Longbows have a little bit more range than the Crossbows. That's why the Batanian... Um, Archer the Fine Champion was the best one. But the guys that had the short bows, they had less range. You're correct. My apologies. But without further ado, let's get disappointed again. Listen, it's not going to be your first time. It's not going to be your second time getting disappointed in life. It's just part of the process. But let's vibe a little bit. Let's have a little bit of a vibe. Let's see, you know, let's see what we agree on, what we disagree on. Let's have a conversation about it. By conversation, I mean like. I'll make the video, then you guys comment. You know what I mean? I do read all your comments. It's just sometimes I don't have enough time to reply or I'm like at work as I'm reading them. And um, yeah, just understand. But I read your comments and I do appreciate all the support, like always, okay? But yeah, we got the game loaded up like this, like these, and uh, let's do it. By the way, I'm gonna do a big tier list um, soon and it's gonna be really long. Like it's gonna be really long. Um, get ready for it. Uh, someone told me to do a best fa uh, faction uh, tier list. And um, I've been thinking of doing like a criteria on it, like I, like for example, um, I wanted to do like every faction is going to be graded based on their location, their units, their um, their starting policies, like all of that combined and putting that all that together. It's probably going to be like an hour too long. Uh, it's going to be a big video, but it's going to come out soon. So, and by what I mean by soon is soon, but not too soon. All right, let's get to it. All right, so we got everybody over here, as you can see. We got quite a little bit of horsemen, a uh, good variety. Everyone is, um, what's it called? Even the mercenaries have a little uh, say in this one. I like that. I like that. A little bit of mercenary action. So let's get right started. So first we have the Vlandian Vanguard. Let's go back over here. Let's go on tiers. Let's go up. And the, where is it? Vlandian Vanguard. Wait, no, wait. Is that what he's called? Yeah, Vlandian Vanguard. Where are you at? We got the Banner Knights. He's a tier five, I'm guessing. Excuse me, hello? I can't see. Vanguard, oh, there he is. There's that big boy right there. All right, so the skill is kind of off the screen, but his skills is 130 riding, 130 one-handed, 130 pole arm. Pretty cool. All right, so he's a tier five. What do we got? We got pretty heavy armor. A lot of these guys are going to have heavy armor. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys. Now, uh, he has a war mount. Good HP, 240. Horse tier 3. Not bad. Speed could be better, though. Now, he has a pole arm. It's a weapon tier 3. Okay. Pole arms are good, though. I'll be honest with you. And then he has a one-handed with a 113 weapon length. That's a good weapon length. That's a, that's, that's pretty long. That's, pretty, hey, that's a long one right there, boys. That's A. You know what I mean? That's a good one. And a large shield. Okay. 430 HP. So, um, we're going to have to start it off because we're going to have to see what everyone else is doing in terms of stats. So, let's just start it off. I might move him later. But, I think he's above average. I think he's above average. He has pretty heavy armor. He has a very long uh, sword as a one-handed when he gets close. Tier 5 weapon. Pretty good. Um... Large shield, a lot of coverage on there, and also a pole arm, so he can do um, a lot of, uh, what do you call it? And it's a lance, so he could do the whole couch lance thing where he can pretty much one tap, uh, um, what's it called, other people. Very strong horse, it looks like it has very good armor on it as well, so I'll put him above average. We'll put him above average, alright. Next up is the Azrai Vanguard Ferris. By the way, just the same thing as the archer thing. We're doing best cavalry in terms of like, how can I explain it? If they were to go against each other, okay? Not if they were to go against infantry, because they destroy, all of these guys destroy infantry. But we're talking more like, who's the best out of them, okay? Next up is the Azrai Vanguard. Did I say that right? Where's he at? Vanguard. I said Vanguard. All right, this is a tier six. Is this the tier? Yeah, this is a tier six. Well, that's a big boy right there. Uh, where's Helmet the other guy? 
But the body armor going crazy. Okay. This is a noble mount, so its speed um, is better. Its maneuverability is better, but its hit points is a little bit less than the other guy. Okay. Again, we have a pole arm. Tier 3. Tier 3 sh uh, shield as well. He has a javelin and a one-handed. 116. Jesus. Well, see, like, just because he's tier 6, he has to be up there, doesn't he? We're gonna have to move it around, but but we're we're just we're just starting out. So he he has to be um you know what I mean top tier. He's a top tier guy. You know what I mean? If I were to put him up there, actually, let's calm down. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Okay. Let's put. Let's make it great. Let's make it um good. Then below average. And then trap. Yeah, that's good right there. We we have to we have to kind of you know, grade it on a curve. Then we have Batanian Horseman. By the way, what is his stats over here? 170, 170, 200 polearm, 140 throwing. He's kind of crazy. Kind of cracked. All right. Next, we have Batanian Horseman. Just the Batanian Horseman. Where's he at? There he is. Horseman. All right. So he is a tier 5. We are 130, 130, 130. Kind of same as the other dude. All right. Armor a lot worse. Uh, 25. Other dude had about 50. Uh, armor's looking kind of medium. Yeah, it's looking kind of mid. Uh, wh what is this? A mount? Just a regular mount? No, it's a war mount. More HP than the other guy. Uh, a little bit better speed, I think, too. He has a one-handed axe with 68 weapon length on a horse. That is absolutely garbage. Holy. Like, what are you hitting with that? Like, you have to be literally next to somebody, like, close enough to kiss them to um, swing this axe and actually hit somebody with it. But he does have... Uh, okay, so he has a spear also that doesn't even have the couch lance mechanic. It has the brace mechanic. Oh, man. And a bad shield. Well, this guy is... um. I'm inclined to put him here. But we're going to see what this guy's looking at. But he's pretty bad. Holy. He doesn't have the right lance. He doesn't even have a lance. He has a spear. And just the one-handed axe. Once he gets close enough, like, bro, you're not hitting nobody with this. We'll put him right there for now. Next, we have is the Batanian Mounted Skirmisher. There he is right over here. Uh, in terms of his stats, 130 riding, 131 handed, um, and 150 throwing. So he has no spear whatsoever. He only has five javelins. Javelins hit pretty hard if they hit. A uh, large shield. And the one-handed. But the one-handed is, it's not bad. It's 117 length. It's not bad. He's just not going to do any running around, really. He's, he, he's kind of getting, he's going to throw his javelins. Once his javelins are gone, he's going to try to run into the infantry, which he, which he will die because, you know, they're going to surround him. So, war mount again. Uh, armor's all right. I'm going to put him above this guy, even though this guy has a spear. Because he just it's not the right spear, man. And the axe is just terrible. With this guy, at least he could do some damage. He's going to die, though, anyways. But <clears throat> if it was this guy versus this guy, I think the, the mounted skirmisher beats the horseman. I think so. I believe so. Imperial Elite Cataphract. I don't even have to look. It's top tier, but let's look. Uh, Elite Cataphract. There he is. Big boy. He's a big boy. His, his armor is super heavy. Like, it's super heavy. He has, like... I don't know if it's the best armor in the game, but it's about that best armor in the game. Um, Noble Mount again. So, very fast speed. Very good hit points. One of the best armors on the horse as well. So very armored horse, but it's also noble. That means it's a lot faster than a war mount, which has more HP. Um, again, he has the lance. 225 of that. Thrust damage. Th yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty good. Large shield, 550. Wait a minute. Well, I guess maybe the other guy can lance too. Am I mistaken? Can the other guy lance too? I know only some spears can do it. 
Okay, hold on. Let me let me go back. Let me go back. So, cause I want I don't want to do something. You guys are like, ah, I can't believe you done this to my horseman. So, what kind of weapon does he have? Let, let's let's get down to the uh, brass tacks of it. So, this boy right here has a steel tipped hooked spear. All right, let's let's check it out. All right, steel tipped hooked spear. We're gonna see if it has that. Uh. There it is, right over here. It has, it literally doesn't have the couch lines mechanic on it. It is just a spear brace, like I said. Okay. And then the other guy has a couch lance, the Imperial guy, which he obviously, uh, is it this one right over here? Courser lance, is that what he has? Hold on. Let's go back. Okay, maybe I'm mistaking it. Maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, I'm, I might be tripping. Listen, so they can still obviously attack, but he doesn't have the couch lance mechanic. But I know he does a lot of charge damage too. He's just so good. And then, and then when we're talking about his skills, 200 riding, 200 one-handed, 260 pole arm. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Woo! He's, he's top tier. It is what it is. Um, Listen, complain with your mom about it, all right? I don't want to hear it. Um, next, we have the Kazay Heavy Lancer. Where's he at? Where is he at? Here we go. Tier 5. Okay. What are we looking? Pretty good armor. Pretty heavy armor. Nope, not heavy. He has a heavy body armor, heavy head armor, but everything else is meh. He has a noble mount though, so pretty fast. The armor is not great on the mounts. It's all right. It's like a medium armor for the mounts, but still a noble mount. So he goes pretty fast compared to the guys with the war mounts. And speed is very good, especially since he has the uh, cou uh, couch lance. Okay, so technically, hold on. No, I'm sticking. To, I'm sticking. I'm sticking to it. Um, he has a saber. 108 length, okay. Large shield. And what do we got for stats? 150 riding, 130 one handed, 130 pole arm. So he has more riding than the other guys, really. So I'm going to put him here. Yes. Because the Vlandian Vanguard. Let's go back to the Vlandian Vanguard. Why can't I never find him? There he is. Landon Vanguard has 130, 130, 130. Uh, riding one-handed polearm. But he has a war mount. Okay. He has better... He has better... Um, way better armor. Way, he's way stronger. But he's a little bit faster. Now, in a horse versus horse matchup, what's better, the speed or being more, like, heavily armored? Because if they go close hand-to-hand -hand combat, the Vanguard should win. If they both... I, I, think, I, I think the Vanguard is better than the Heavy Lancer. This is a toss-up, actually. Wow. Strength versus speed. Because the Azrai uh, uh, Vanguard Ferris, right? He has... Yeah, he has way above stats. He's tier 6. You can't compare to him, really. No, I think this is valid. <clears throat> now, what do I think? Okay. Since they both have shields, there's a big chance they will dodge... They will block both of each other's lances, right? Now, let's say they get stuck close together. I think the Vanguard takes it. I think he takes it. I don't know about this one. 
This is a hard one for me. All right, let's go back for it. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. So we got the Batanian. All right, let's let, let's look through this one more time. Yeah, he's the guy with the axe. He is trash. Okay, okay. I, I'm really tripping myself out. Next up is the Mercenary Cavalry. Uh, let me start typing these guys in. There's way too much going on over here. Mercenary Cavalry. He's not even popping up. Excuse me? Oh, I can just do this. All right. Uh, where is he at? Excuse me? Isn't that in the game no more? It's like that? He's a tier 5, right? I must be... Huh? Where's he located at? Um... It's not this guy. We're going to skip him for now because I have no idea where he's at. Sturgeon Horse Raider. All right, is the next guy we have. Uh, Where's he at? Sturgeon Horse Raider. All right, another tier five stats. We're looking at the 130, 130, 130. Riding, one-handed, and uh, throwing. His pole arm is kind of trash, though. 80, not that great. I'll be honest with you. What does he have, though? Pretty good head armor. He got a cape. Medium body armor. Pretty heavy uh, hand and foot armor. He has a war mount. Hit points, not great, though. 200 hit points, not great. But the speed is a little bit better. Okay. He's an all-rounder though, so he has he has the um a spear. Okay. Not great. Not the weapon length isn't doing great. Uh he has a good shield though. 488 hit points. He has a javelin, five javelins, and a one-handed axe. Oh my god, one-handed axe, dog. Come on. But he's but he's pretty heavy. He's a he's a pretty heavy dude. And for that reason. And for that reason, I will put him right there. I think he is good minus or below average plus. Like, he is right here. I think the Couch Lancer and the Vanguard beat him. But I think he beats the Batanian Mounted Skirmisher. We're putting him there. <clears throat> Yeah. Next, we have the Sturgeon Druznik. This boy, this is a big boy. This is this is a big boy. He's a tier six boy. This is a big, big boy. What does he got right over here? 140 athletics. So even when he falls off, he's still a champ. That's pretty good. 170 riding, 200 one-handed, uh, and 170 pole arm, and also 90 throwing. But he has no throwing. That doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, heavy armor. Pretty heavy armor. He's pretty heavied out, I'll be honest with you. War mounts, uh, he has speed. So he is a heavy person with a pretty okay fast of a horse. That's also war mounts. Okay, that's fine. Strong armor on the horse as well. He has a lance. Okay. Best shield we've seen so far, really. 500 hit points. And he has a war sword with 89 length. Not great. And for that reason, he'll be great. This guy, the Imperial Cataphract still beats him. But does the Azrite Vanguard Fares beat him, though? That's the question. Yeah, yeah, I think he does. Yeah, he has a noble mount faster and hit points faster. Yeah, 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 I think this is where it's going. Next is the Vlandian Banner Knight. Another tier six. There he is. 
What do we got? We got 200 riding, 221 handed, and 260 pole arm. Kind of crazy. Good armor. Cape is absolute dog water. Uh, good body armor. Very heavy foot and hand armor. Noble mount with 260 hit points. Holy. Is a pole arm, shield, and a long one handed. Very good armor on both. I think he's up here. <clears throat> I think Imperial Cataphract still beats him, though. Because. Does Imperial Cataphract beat him? Yeah, look at that. Way stronger shield, 550. Way stronger pole arm reaching him before it reaches him. Way better cape. Yeah, still beats him. Still beats him. But I think he is. He's up there. I think he's up there in top tier. And lastly, the Mercenary Cavalry. This is a tier 5. Where is he at? Do I not see him or something like that? Okay, let's go through all the tier 5s, right? Mercenary. Mercenary. I'm looking for an M. Uh, where is he at? Would he be labeled Conspiracy? No, no he wouldn't. Is this him? No. He doesn't exist. Where's he at? What? <clears throat> what happened to this man? What happened? Mercenary Cavalry. I swear this was a guy. Did they change his name? They might have changed his name. That's not him. Okay, I'm really confused because I don't remember them changing the name. Unless they did. Because this was made after 1.8, this uh, tier list. So for that reason, um, we're going to put him like... I don't even think he's trash though. Where is he at? There's no way. Am I tripping? Where is he at? Okay, I'm so confused on what's going on here. Is the thing messed up where it's showing different tiers than it needs to be? Because he's a tier 5, right? Let's just pretend this is him, right? Because this looks kind of like him, okay? All right. <laughs> it is what it is. Let's pretend. Uh, pretty terrible head armor. All right. Um, yeah, Jesus. Just terrible. Okay. Um, just a regular mount, too. Large shield, one-handed, and a pole arm. That's pretty good, actually. He just has no armor whatsoever. I think I put him in the right spot. I think I put him in the right spot, but he looks that like that. That's a better arm. We're gonna put it like this. All right. Listen, that's the tier list. All right. Um, <clears throat> pretty even. I think this is like I think this is pretty even. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I already know someone's gonna say like, "Oh man, I can't believe it, man." Actually speaking, I think the uh 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 the Batanian Horseman is a good great. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I believe so. I already know. I'm gonna hear. It. I already know. I'm gonna hear it. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, and again, let's mix it up for everyone who didn't make it till the end of the video. All right. And for everyone who did make it till the end of the video, I appreciate you. I really, truly do. You guys really sticking it out, vibing out with me. You know, me talking to myself to my monitor, but I'm thinking in my head. I'm like I'm talking to you guys. You know, it's crazy. I'll be honest with you. All right. Um. <clears throat> Let's do it like this. They're not going to believe if I put Imperial uh, Cataphract down. There's no way. But what we're going to do is 
Check this out. Oh, we're going to mess. Oh, we're going to. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hold on. All the Vlandian boys are going to look like, are you kidding me? Below average? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, boys. I'll see you in the next one.